Welcome to my new personal tutorial, Mr. Curse of Darkness. You've got problems with your normal map, cube maps and blood textures. So first things first, I've got your original files over here. It's star nif and first person star nif, as well as the weapon itself, it's star object, and the body for the blood textures, it's blood object, weapon and blood texture, body. Okay, I open nif scope. Load in the first star nif, this one. And this is what you did. You select the weapon, open the container, select the shape data and delete it. So select the container again, press file, import, import object. Okay. And select the new weapon, it's star object. Open the container again. And as you see, the normals are in the wrong direction. It's gray, they should be white. So select the shape data, press right click, texture, no, it's mesh, face normals, and set the UV from 1 to 40, 9, 7, and press spells, batch, update. Next thing, delete the new properties and bring back the old ones, select the container, scroll down to properties and enter the value next to the lightning shader property it's 25. okay the normal map should work now do the same with the first person star nif and the blood textures you can those those containers are responsible for the blood effects it's edge blood 05 number 7 and edge blood 12 number 10 you have to remember the 7 and the 10 because if you re-import a new uh, body for the blood textures the names will uh, mix up so select the first one number seven open it select the, the old shape data it's invisible of course delete it select the container number seven again file import import object okay select the new blood object it's back in the game now and as you see the name is different now it's Daedric Mace now, it's not Edge Blood. So you have to press this one and select number 7. So it's Edge Blood 05 again. Next thing to do is to open the container, delete the new properties, and bring back the old ones. Same thing as usual. Scroll down and enter 15. Do exactly the same with the Edge Blood 12, number 10. Open container. Delete the data, select the container, import, import object, okay, select the new one, change back the number from 11 to 10, it's edge blood again, delete the new properties, hoppala, the new properties, and bring back the old ones, number 19, done. Okay, the blood texture should work now. Cube maps, okay. First step, download the Fallout 3 utility tool. Second step, go to Skyrim data and extract this file. It's Skyrim textures BSA. And after extraction, it should look like this. I have an own folder for this. It's this one, it's textures. And here are the cube maps and the DDS files. So to get it into the game, you just have to open your NIF file, click on the weapon container, scroll down to shader property, texture set, textures, and here's the path to the cube map. So if you want to change it to, let's say, more cat's eye here, you just have to double click and replace this file here. It's cat's eye without the e okay and that's it you have replaced the cube map now and it should work in game okay i hope that's all and i wish you a good time ciao